a demon appeared to me, and gave me a mission, I said I was willing to do this mission, I asked what is your name, he replied false visions, I make people to have the gift of spiritual vision thinking it was God. When the demon of deceit appeared, he seems burning in fire, he approached me and I could feel a great heat, he had great authority to seal people with the mark at Satan and baptize them and make them speak in tongues. This demon spoke in angelic tongues and also spoke other languages from various countries, this demon of deceit and gift was ready to enter with me inside the churches, before joining the church, in order to begin this mission of attacking churches, I took a theology course, gained a diploma and a credential of pastor, the school of theology sent me to a particular first church that I visited, I went unnoticed, no one discovered my true identity, I was well received. The brothers asked if I had any position in the church I belonged to, I said I am a pastor and gave them a name of a church that didn't exist, the pastor gave me the opportunity to work in the church, his church was full that day, I went to the pulpit and began to preach the word of God, and the two demons that were in me began to act with me, they made most people get into the spirit, people were excited, happy and gave a place for this demon to work, thinking it was the Holy Spirit. The demon spoke strange tongues people mouth, a boy spoke in strange tongues because of the fiery demon of deceit, many of people felt and experienced the fire and the presence of this demon, thinking he was the Holy Spirit of God, they gave him a place, many fell to the ground, jumped, twirled with the strange fire and false gift and manifestation, in this assembly I spoke strange languages of the devils, I uttered word of curses without understanding they accepted my prophecies, and the people rejoiced, they said this woman is from God and the pastor asked me to return once again to preach later, they had no idea who they had received that night, the people asked me to pray and I prayed with the laying on hands, I passed on them the evil spirit that was in me, and I cursed each of them, when I said my prayers they accepted my prayers and gave credibility to me, this gave legality to the demons to come into their lives, my fame spread in my city, I went to several churches and performed several signs, I cursed all these churches, the result was that the city was experiencing a false Pentecost caused by these demons of deceit that followed people causing their spiritual deaths, it was a high price to pay for them, I used their sheep deceitfully, I believe that these pastors did this not out of malice for they were also victims of deception and paid heavily for not having communion with God. The church is going through a difficult time, I believe the Holy Spirit uses the people as he wants and can make them jump, spin, feel joy and fall to the ground, for one cannot always handle the presence of the Holy Spirit, we have to stay connected because there are demons that imitate the same activities that the Holy Spirit do, brothers, don't let unknown people put their hands on your heads, no one knows about these people's lives, nor their spiritual condition. Perhaps that person lives a spiritual life inferior to your Christian walk and he passes all his problems on to you, the only way to avoid this transfer is you living a holy life, a life of prayer, if someone puts their hands on those who live in holiness, evil does not pass because he has the mark of the Holy Spirit, demons cannot enter like a bird wandering, from experience I put my hands on a teenager's head, his life was sealed with the seal of the Holy Spirit. I saw an energy that surrounded his body. He was covered with the blood of Christ, he was the exclusive property of God. This young man is an example of the church, but I haven't seen the same coverage in churches that had sent me invitation letter. I thought it was strange that all these churches called me, they fought over wanting to invite me. This church where the young man he go didn't care about me, they didn't care it did matter. My fame was commented on by all the churches except in that church, no one spoke my name, my fame was hushed up there, I was stunned and that was an insult to me, I wanted to embarrass that church and their God, I told the demon of false vion and deceit that work with me, you gave me a list of all the churches in the city, but one church I ignoring me, I told them I want to go in there, I want to find out what this church has special and I told the demon what do you fear so much, the demon looked at me furious and said, you fool, we are the masters of council, we know all the churches in this city, we know all the information, 
This church is not on the list because we are thinking about strategy that we will use and apply to attack them, we cannot enter there, if you want to face them you will be destroyed and disappear, I said you told me that I am a powerful witch and no one can defeat me, now you are telling me that I cannot defeat that poor small church with few people, I was lied to, I need to see for myself if this church can beat me, what is the entity of that church that you don't want me to go there? who is that entity so strong that dwells there, they told me that all the spirits that are there with me especially the strongest ones, I said I want to see your boss, the one who is the prince of demon laughed, and he asked me are you talking about Satan, you can't talk to him without going through us, I'll send a legion of demon with you, remember that this church has an impact on us, also remember that you cannot abandon us if you are humiliated in this church, if you break the pact you have with us you will die at midnight, I went with a legion of demon to the service at this church, I was accompanied by this legion for protection, upon arriving near the door, part of the legion left me because they could not resist the power of prayer in that place, the people were different from other churches for they were holy, and there was no scandal among them and not reproach at all, they had angelic faces that were pure, they were doing forty days of fasting and prayers, when a brother entered this church from behind the pulpit he realized that I was a false pastor full of demons, I had entered several churches and they all believed that I was a woman of God, but in that church I couldn't deceive them, this brother rebuked this legion of demons that came with me, ordering them to leave and he expelled them all, I was freed into God's hands, now this was the church that it was the bridge that led me to the truth, I asked the brothers who is a strong entity that reside here? they answered me, Jesus Christ, there is no strong entity here only the Almighty and Great God. The one God who created everything, 